So this is English file, intermediate level, uh, grammar page 137, page 137, English file. So we're going to discuss grammar 3B, the so unit 3B. And that's about articles, guys, articles. So this page, this explanation, we can divide into uh, three main sections. Okay, so the first one is, as you can see here, how to use um, an indefinite article, um, A or N. And then we got how to use the article, which is you know, a definite article. And then in which cases we can use no article, right? Now we're going to discuss one by one. So let's get started. The first part, the first section, right? Um, as you can see, how to use indefinite article, a or n, a article, so um, or n article. So uh, we got here four points. We use a or n article with singular countable nouns. Singular countable nouns. This is important. So we can't use a or n with uh, plural nouns, guys. The first one. So when we say what something is or what somebody does. So when we talk about a job, I'm a teacher, she's a lawyer, uh, he is a nurse. Yeah, a lawyer. She's a lawyer. It means there are so many lawyers in the world and she is one of them. So usually a or in, it gives the meaning of one. Not specific one general one there are so many of something and it is one of them and if i want to talk about something for the first time and, and obviously that should be countable noun we have to say um, a nice house it's a nice house okay so that's the first one. Second point the first time we mention a thing or a person for the first time, we're mentioning a thing or a person. Person. So I saw an old man with a dog. You see, this is the first time I'm talking about an old man. So I say N, old man, and a dog. And we use, by the way, N uh, before vowel uh, sound or vowel letter or vowel, vowel sound mostly. Old, that are old man. It's coming because of. When we use before O, we use N, guys, yeah? Before vowel sounds. And in English language, we have got five uh, vowel sounds, vowel letters, uh, A, O, U, I, and E. Right. Um, so number two is done. Number three, uh, exclamations. When we talk about excitement, yeah? And it starts with what, and you can see here, exclamation mark. So what an awful day. What an awful day, what a nice day, uh, what a nice car, yeah? So uh, the last one is four, the expressions of frequency. Uh, a week, twice a week, three, three times a month, five times a year. Hmm? I have classes three times a week. Three times a week. So we are using here an uh, article. So when we talk about um, expressions of frequency, how often does something happen? Okay, so that's it. Now we're going to move to the article. How, um, you know, how do we use the article, which is in uh, this is definite article. Definite article. Yes, so we use uh, when we talk about specific things, right? We use the when we talk about something we have already mentioned we have already mentioned example now here for the first time i'm saying an old man with a dog now the second time i want to mention about a dog so i say the dog why i'm saying the dog because this is the second time it's happening here this is the second time and this is here first time mentioned okay now number two we also use the when it's clear what we are referring to. Something is clear already. We're talking about something 
everyone knows. Example, the bell. The bell rang and my father opened the door. So we're sitting uh, at home. Um, so obviously the door has got bell. So when you say everyone knows, so the bell, the bell rang and my father opened the door. Everyone knows, like so the door, the kitchen, the bathroom, the dining room, uh, the window. So everyone knows about that. So we use the for that. Or the children are at school. When we say the children are at school, so we're talking about our children, the family, yeah? The family. Number three, when uh, there is only one of something, when there is only one of something, the moon, there is only one moon uh, around our planet, right? And the earth, or we can say the sun, only one. So because there's only one, so we're going to use the with it. Number four, with places in a town. So usually uh, in a town, we got cinema theater uh, which is we know uh, every you know most people we we get used to it right so i'm going to the cinema i'm going to the theater so places in town last one is we use the article with superlatives superlatives superlative of adjectives right like the best the the worst the strongest the most beautiful the most expensive uh, we must use the before the superlative adjectives, guys. All right, so that's done as well. Um, no article. In some cases, we don't use article at all. So the first one, we don't use an article when we are speaking in general. In general. So with plural and uncountable noun. So look at it here. Girls often learn to read earlier than boys. So here, boys and girls, I'm talking about general. I'm not talking about the girls in specific country or girls in specific place or classroom or sp school. So in general, when I'm talking about general, countable, countable nouns, we must use plural. Plural, girls and boys. Uh, when we talk about uncountable nouns, yes, we can still use it like love is more important than money. Water is important for our life. Happiness is important for the development of uh, a kid, for example. Yeah. So happiness, love, money, water. When we talk about general, uh, we're not going to use article with them. Okay. So number two, with some nouns. Example like home, work, school, church. After, at, to, from. So when we want to use these words, so we need to memorize them. Home, work, school, church. We can use with at, like at home, at work, at school, uh, at church. Or to home, to work, to school, to church. Or from home, from work, from school, from church. When we use, when we talk about general uh, information so no article with them guys so she is not at home today i get back from work at 5 30 so i'm talking uh, generally guys <clears throat> number three i never have breakfast meals before meals before days before months i never have breakfast i'm going to the theater on tuesday on monday on sunday and we use in January, in February, in March, in August. So before meals, days, and months, no article, guys. The last one, uh, next week, next day, next month, next year, last month, last year, last day. Yeah, so we're not going to use article before them. So next week, see you next week. I saw him last month. He's coming uh, next year. Okay, so no article um, is used with them. And that's it. So this is a brief explanation about how to use article in intermediate level. So if you understand this and try to, you know, 
uh, put it in your mind or try to memorize uh, these rules. Uh, that should be sufficient. Okay, it's not, it's not about understanding, it's all about learning these details. Uh, so that's it. Thanks. Thanks for your time, guys. Um, examples, obviously, the exercises we're going to do in in our course, online course, or maybe we can use some of them here. Um, so circle the correct form. We're gonna do exercise A, some of them. Circle the correct form. I love I love weddings. So I love weddings, general. We're talking about generally, so I love weddings. We don't say the weddings, because when you say the weddings, like which weddings? The weddings in Africa, the weddings in Europe, so it's like you need to specify that. Number one, Jess is nurse. Jess is a nurse in a hospital. So here, I'm giving the first information and I'm talking about job. There are so many nurses in the world and Jess is one of them. So we're going to go for a nurse. Um, so, and Jess is a nurse in a hospital. Okay, now the second time I'm using here, it's the second time, so I say the hospital. The hospital is a long way from her house. Okay, guys. The number two, what? So we've got here exclamation mark. Day is countable. So what a horrible day. What a horrible day. We will have to eat our picnic in the car or in a car. Obviously, it will be in the car. Why? Because I'm talking about our car or my car. Just defining it. Uh, if I say a car, that would be like any car, which doesn't make sense. So we're not going to accept that. All right, so the rest of that we're going to do in the in our online course. Now we're going to do B, complete with uh, maybe A or N, there or no article. So number one, how often do you go to the gym? Because we know that, you know, gym, the gym, the cinema, the theater, it, you know, everyone knows about it. So we know what we're referring, referring to. So we're going to use the here. B, about three times. So when we talk about frequency, three times a week, three times a month, three times a year. So we're going to use F. But I never go on Friday, day. Before uh, date, we're not going to use any article, guys. Two, what time does uh, the train? I'm talking about specific train. I'm my train. What time does the train leave? In 40 minutes, can you drop me off at the station, station, train station, on your way to work, on your way to, to general information, work, home, church, university, to work. Okay, that's it. So the rest of it, we're going to continue in our course, guys. Thanks for your time and see you in the next videos.